Are you thinking about moving to Alexandria, Virginia? Well, hold your horses. Do not make the move unless you're ready to handle these annoying things that I'm about to share with you in today's video. Now, Alexandria is beautiful. It's historic, but of course, it's not all cherry blossoms and waterfront strolls. Like any area, it's got its ups and it's got its downs. And in today's video, I'm here to share with you the no fluff version of what it's really like to live here in Alexandria so you can make an informed decision for you and your family. I am also a local real estate agent here. My name is Tim. And if you wanna stay up to date with the market here in Northern Virginia and what it's really like to live here, make sure to subscribe and tap the bell. So if you want the good, the bad, and the ugly, you're in the right place. But if you're also looking to buy, sell, or invest in the DMV area, Northern Virginia, or Alexandria, I can also help you with that as well. All my information is gonna be down below in the description. First off, Alexandria is absolutely charming. No doubt about it. If you've seen pictures, if you've taken five minutes to walk through Old Town, you know what I'm talking about. You got the cobblestone streets in Old Town. You got the gorgeous historic homes. You have the Potomac River views. All that, of course, is wonderful, and it's what Alexandria is known for. And honestly, the feel in Alexandria is something like out of a movie, right? Like an old 70s or 80s movie, like a Godfather kind of thing. And if you love American history, Alexandria is really the best place for you to be. We're talking colonial architecture, museums. You even have George Washington's old stomping grounds, of course, down in Mount Vernon. But there are some less glamorous parts, of course, like anything. There's a double-edged sword. And let's get into what drives people nuts about living in Alexandria and what drives people away from actually living there. Now, we're going to start off strong here with the elephant in the room. Of course, the cost of living. Alexandria is not cheap, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, it's expensive. The cost of housing is significantly higher than the national average. The median home price is about $670,000, which can be shocking if you're moving from a less expensive part of the country. And I know 670 for people that are familiar with Northern Virginia doesn't seem high, but that's because Alexandria is going to offer many different types of housing options. So if you're looking for affordable condos, you can definitely find them here. I've helped clients find 200,000, 300,000, 400,000 dollar condos in nice areas, you know, updated and that kind of stuff. Of course, you got to look out for those condo fees. So those housing options are going to drive down the median home sale price. But if you're looking for townhomes or single family homes in like Old Town, Alexandria or something like that, you're looking at well over a million dollars for those types of properties. Even if you're renting here, it can set you back quite a bit. You can imagine $2,000 to $2,500 a month on a decent apartment in a decent location. And plus, if you're looking for that quaint Old Town charm, like I mentioned, be prepared to pay a pretty penny for that. That's a tongue twister, but uh, Alexandria does have the look, but of course it comes at a cost, right? You're paying a premium for convenience, the beauty of Alexandria, and just uh, everything that it has to offer. Now let's shift gears into something that of course everybody loves and that's gonna be traffic. Of course I'm being facetious there. Uh, the traffic here is a nightmare. You know, we talk about traffic pretty much in every single suburb because that's just the, the theme all throughout Northern Virginia. It's, it's got bad traffic, that's all it is. Everyone's going into Arlington, Alexandria, Tysons, and DC to go to work. So there's a lot of backup within those areas. So of course you're right outside of DC, which means you're closer to DC. That's just gonna mean that rush hour traffic is everywhere. Doesn't matter if you're heading into DC or you're just getting across town for groceries or running some errands, there's always congestion within peak hours. 15 minute drive can quickly turn into a 30 to 45 minute ordeal. And of course you do have the public transportation to alleviate that and it's better than nothing, but obviously don't expect it to be the total solution to the chaos. It's still a lot of congestion in, in, uh, in the public transportation. Sometimes it's late. The times aren't always meeting with your schedule and that kind of stuff. So that's, that's one thing you're going to want to take into consideration. And speaking of traffic, Let's talk about parking. Parking in Old Town Alexandria is kind of like playing a game of musical chairs. And to be honest with you, the music stopped about 10 years ago. If you're lucky enough to snag a spot on King Street, hold on to it for dear life. Put a cone in that spot and don't let it go. Uh, most of the time though, you're dealing with metered parking, permit restrictions, or just a complete lack of parking spaces. And if you live here and you don't have designated parking, you can expect to circle the block about a dozen times before you actually find a spot. All right, now let's jump into the next topic and that's gonna be the weather here. And Alexandria gets all four seasons like the rest of Northern Virginia. And although that might sound nice, it's not always a pleasant experience. During the summers, it can be brutally hot and humid. We're talking temperatures that can jump to the 90s, the hundreds, paired with sticky, drenching humidity, you get mosquitoes. 
I mean, if you think you can handle the heat, obviously depends where you're coming from. If you're coming from Arizona or from Texas, this is nothing for you. But if you're like me, who doesn't like extreme heat, this is this is brutal. And if you, th if you think you can handle it, try walking down King Street in July when it feels like you're literally wearing the air. It's so sticky. And then when you have the winter time, on the other hand, while we don't have New England level snowstorms, we do get enough snow and ice to make commuting a pain. And of course, those gray slushy days can really wear on you. And because uh, the, the, the winter times, we sometimes get a lot of snow and sometimes we get no snow, we don't have the infrastructure or we haven't invested in the infrastructure. We get made fun of all the time from Canadians and the Northern states that when we get two to three inches of snow here, everything shuts down. So be prepared to, uh, to plow your, your driveway, to plow your sidewalks when it snows, even if it's just two to three inches because nobody else is gonna do it for you. Next up, let's talk about the quote unquote tourist invasion. And Old Town Alexandria is a hotspot for tourists, right? Who can blame them? Of course, you're right next to DC. A lot of people come here to, to look at the museums, visit the White House. And while they're here, they also wanna experience Arlington. They wanna experience Alexandria and Old Town Alexandria especially, which is great. Right, but if you're a local, you're trying to get some errands done, the constant flow of visitors can get a little bit annoying and frustrating. It's nothing like New York City. So if you're coming from there, you know, it's night and day, you're gonna love it here. Uh, but you can imagine trying to pop in your favorite coffee shop on, you know, a Saturday morning and it's packed with tourists snapping pictures, taking up all the tables, the lines go on to the front door, go all the way out the front door. So living here just means constantly trying to navigate around groups of people on segways, ducking out of family photo ops. So it's definitely great for the local economy for sure, but it's not always that great for your sanity. And Alexandria doesn't only have a lot of humans living in it, but we also have wildlife. And yes, Alexandria does have beautiful parks and lots of green spaces around there. So if you like going on walks with your, with your significant other, with your family, with your pet, or just by yourself, you're gonna have a lot of options to do that. But it does also mean there's a lot of critters roaming around. Of course you have squirrels, which, you know, if you don't see them all the time, they can be cute, but there's a lot of squirrels around here and they can get really annoying. I have a garden in my backyard and if I don't cage that garden, it gets absolutely ripped up by squirrels and it's just the most frustrating thing in the world. Uh, we have raccoons that'll go through your trash. You even get the occasional fox every now and then. You know, if you have your windows open in the middle of the night, you'll, you'll hear those fox screaming and it's the most terrifying thing in the world. And like I alluded to earlier, there's also a ton of mosquitoes. You have the combination of the summer heat and the Potomac River, which means mosquitoes are out in full force, especially on after a rainy day. We get cicadas when it's cicada season. You know, you're trying to sleep with the windows open and they just keep you up all night. You'll definitely want to invest in some strong buck spray is all I'm saying. I, I definitely dual wield the off sprays. So if you're gonna enjoy the, the backyard or one of the lovely parks in the area, definitely keep one in the back of your trunk. And of course, how could I forget about the airplanes? If you live right on the northern part of Alexandria, closer to Arlington, you're right in the flight path of the Reagan National Airport, which is great. If you travel a lot, you'll have really easy access to that. But that does also mean you're gonna be hearing airplanes a lot. The constant overhead noise can be pretty disruptive, especially if you're not used to it. Of course, you can get soundproof windows and you can try to soundproof your home that way, which many people do. And it's something that might not seem like a big deal at first. And maybe you don't particularly care about the noise. Maybe you like it. Uh, but after a few months uh, of low flying jets, you know, I've heard this complaint from, from people that, that thought wasn't going to be a big deal. It can definitely start to get on your nerves after a while. And next we'll talk about what I like to call the charm tax. What's the charm tax you might be asking yourself? It's what I call the premium you pay to live in the beautiful city of Alexandria. Everything from groceries to dining out to basic services seems to be just a bit more expensive just because it's Alexandria. If you wanna grab a quick bite to eat at a trendy spot in Old Town, just be ready to spend at least 20 to $25 for a sandwich and a drink and a bag of chips. But at the end of the day, it's the price you pay to live in a place that's highly sought after but it's definitely something to consider before you decide to make that move here. And of course, that's gonna be the case in any hotspot that you move to in the country. If you go to New York City, if you go to LA, if you go to DC, if you go to Arlington, if you go to Miami, whatever the case may be, things are just more expensive in those areas because, you know, for one, it's really highly, highly desirable. Those businesses are paying a premium to rent out that space. So they need to charge a premium for you to eat in, in, their, in their business. So. 
again, that's just something to take into consideration. If you're okay with it, if you love the convenience and the beauty of Alexandria and you're willing to pay a premium for it, there's definitely a lot of real estate out there to choose from, but there you guys have it. You know, the less than glamorous parts of Alexandria, Virginia. There's a lot to love about this area. I absolutely love it and it truly has so much to offer, but of course it's always important to be realistic about the downsides too. Just be aware of them. You don't want to find out about them after the fact because it could definitely rain on your parade, but if you can handle the traffic, the tourists, the bugs, the cost, and everything else, Alexandria might be the perfect place for you. But if you're someone that doesn't like to deal with these kinds of headaches, this is a complete deal breaker for you. You want something more secluded, something more peaceful, something more family oriented this might not be the right fit for you. And that's okay too. I'm just glad this video might have shed some light on things that you didn't expect or you didn't know. And if you are curious about still living in Northern Virginia and finding the right spot for you, I'm happy to help. Again, all my information is gonna be down below in the description. Happy to help you move in or out of, uh, of the DMV area. But if you are still interested in making the move here, or if you have any questions about living here, feel free to reach out. I'm always here to help you find the right home for you. We help people from the YouTube channel all the time. Even if it's not Alexandria, drop a comment down below or check out the contact information in the description. And hey, if you've enjoyed this honest look at Alexandria, don't forget to like, subscribe for more content about living in Northern Virginia. Thanks for watching. And as always, hope to show you around town or we'll see you on the next video.